So in one of my last videos, a lot of you guys actually noticed that I sort of had like a ghost moving this door right here. And I just kind of want to come out and say it right now, guys, that yes, I... Oh, cr oh crap, he's coming! He's coming! Hey! What is up everybody, I'm Starlord, and welcome back to the channel guys, I know it's been a while since I've actually done a video, I've just been having some very awesome time off from YouTube, spending time with my family, and it's been great, it honestly has, I've enjoyed it, but it's time to come back, start making videos again, and hopefully we can hit that 2,000, 250,000 subscriber mark guys, sometime in the next couple of months. Uh, but anyway guys, before we get into today's video, don't forget to leave a like, and uh, yeah, let us get into the video itself. So, some of you guys may have actually remembered the other day I posted a video of me getting into a new secret room in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now, there was a lot of speculation as to what this room could be used for. I personally said maybe there may be some kind of rock type Pokemon, like a very special rare Pokemon, or even maybe a legendary or a mythical Pokemon popping up inside there. But then, another YouTuber friend of mine by the name of UPSP actually corrected me on Twitter and sent me a couple of pictures of some very interesting stuff that I, today's video is pretty much focused on. Uh, so before we actually kind of go on from there guys, UPSP's uh, link is in the description. Thank you so much for allowing me to use these pictures, UPSP. You're an awesome dude. Uh, so anyway, on screen right now, guys, you will actually see that there is a picture of UPSP inside of the room that we got inside of, the secret room. But you will notice that there is something very different about that room, and that is that it has a huge yellow crystal above it. Like, what is that? Remember when I said there would be something on that little kind of rock area, and I said maybe the Pokemon would be standing there? Well, no. It's an actual crystal! It's a yellow huge crystal! I don't even know, it looks so strange. Now, UPSP actually told me that uh, they actually did an update a long time ago on Pokemon Brick Bronze. This was before the fifth gym was out. And UPSP claims that these little crystals were actually in these little rooms before the fifth gym. And then some reason, uh, the Pokemon Brick Bronze devs actually t like taken them out, which is very strange. Now, uh, there is actually more than one secret room. I can't believe we never found the other two, but uh, you'll see it on screen right now, guys. There is also another one that is a blue one, and then we've also got a red one, a huge red crystal standing on a little platform again. Now, honestly, I don't know what these are. I wish I did. UPSP doesn't seem to know exactly what they are either, but it does seem that at one point in Pokemon Brick Bronze, these would actually pay a huge, like, kind of, a, a play a huge part in the story or unlocking some different kind of Pokemon. Now, I'm not really too sure how he got to those little crystals. I am assuming that he did the disconnect glitch you can actually like disconnect from your pc and then walk through walls or you used to be able to do that you can't really do it anymore because it kind of glitches up and kind of crashes um but yeah it seems that he actually successfully got into these secret rooms i mean what what the heck i didn't even know you glitched UPSP before I met you. I mean, I thought I was the original glitch lord on this game It seems that UPSP is the OG glitcher on this game. He's been finding out secrets since Fifth gym and I wasn't even playing at that point. I think anyway I don't think I was playing at the fifth gym. I'm not too sure I only started like th four months ago on Pokemon Brick Bronze or UJ or, 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 or Roblox in general Um, now what he actually said in one of the tweets. I can't remember what he said like Exactly, but he said the only Pokemons that really represent these type of crystals is either Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, Raikou, Suicune, and uh, Entai, but Entai, Suicune, and Raikou, or Suisos, has already been introduced into the game, and we know now that we don't need any type of thing to unlock them, they're just found in a cave. Now, 
This leads us to believe that maybe these little areas inside Kragnos Cliffs or Kragnos Mines will most likely have something to do with Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. Maybe they're going to change things up a little bit. Maybe, uh, I'm not saying that you're going to find these birds in these caves, because how is a bird going to get into a cave, you know what I mean? But maybe we might actually need some kind of crystal to unlock these birds. Now... I'm pretty sure in Pokemon 2000, the movie, where Lugia is first seen, um, you do need some sort of, like, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres need these type of, like, stones. And you have to remove these stones in order to kind of mess up their, uh, kind of mess up their being there. I, I don't really know how to say this. For those of you who've seen the movie, you kind of know what I'm talking about right now, right? Basically, they have stones, you remove them, they get really upset, and then they run wild. I'm thinking that maybe originally Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres was actually meant to be introduced to Pokemon Brick Bronze, but they decided not to do that. But... What I'm thinking is that in a future update in Pokemon Brick Bond, these stones will most likely appear once again and maybe have some sort of kind of uh, connection to the legendary trio. I think that's what they're called because they were the original legendaries. So it's the legendary trio, right? Or is it just the legendary bird trio? It's one of them anyway. Tell me in the comment section below. I would like to know. Um, but what I'm going to try and do in the next couple of days, guys, is I'm going to try and glitch into the last two little secret rooms just to kind of make sure from my own, like, doubt in my mind that they have definitely removed those last two stones because we definitely know that they've removed the yellow one, but I'm not too sure about the red and the, uh, the red and the blue. So we will definitely check into that on uh, Pokemon Brick Bronze in the next couple of days if enough of you guys actually want me to. So if you do want me to, comment down below. And also, if you have kind of, like, an idea of what these little crystals could possibly be used for if they are introduced into Pokemon Brick Bonds again in the future, tell me so in the comment section below, guys. I would really like to hear your fan theories right now. Uh, but anyway, have a very awesome day, guys. That's pretty much been it for today's video. A lot of new content coming your way very soon, including my own ROM hack of Pokemon Brick Bonds. Very exciting. Stay tuned for it. Click subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, yeah, have a very awesome day. Until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.